going to show you now uh, one of our signature desserts here in Grow HQ. So it's a chocolate and beetroot brownie. You can ask anybody the best brownie. So we are going to start with two eggs, some sugar, and we're going to dissolve the sugar inside the eggs. But the important part there is to don't foam the egg too much, otherwise you'll make it like a sponge. What you want is um, a brownie nice and dense and rich. But if you whisk it too, for too much, for too long, it will become a sponge. So don't whisk it too much either. So at that stage, the eggs, do you see the eggs got broken down? We're going to add our melted chocolate and butter. Look, just so luxurious. So, we're just going to add all that nice melted chocolate and butter into it. Don't leave any in the, in the bowl. You might just be tempted to put your fingers in it. There we go. Mix it through. So one of the good tricks there is be sure that your, your eggs and your beetroots are not too cold. Otherwise the chocolate will solidify again and it'll be quite difficult to, uh, to do the mix. So at that stage, we're going to drop the whisk, take some sieved, um, sieved flour, just plain flour. Mix it through. Make sure you go well under to catch all the uh, extra flour. And then our grated cooked beetroot. So we had, we had, um, we, had we boiled the beetroot for the depends of the season. Like now the beetroot could take between 20 minutes to four hours to, uh, to cook in boiling water. It all depends of, uh, of the season. Winter beetroot will cook way longer. So you're just going to fold in the beetroot inside the chocolate. So the advantage of the beetroot there is uh, it's going to stay moist and it's going to bring some natural sugars in, in, in your brownie. So you don't need to add as much butter and as much sugar as in a traditional brownie. So as I say, we're going to add, we're going to put that into our baking tray. Look at that. Scrape it all. So that recipe does about like one of them uh, 22 centimeters by 22 centimeters square uh, uh, little baking dish. Uh, and then one of the chef's trick to look good, but it's not only to look good, we're going to put some seeds over there. I put uh, flax seeds because the color match well with the color of the chocolate, obviously, but it's as well it's nice, earthy, nuttiness. It goes goes very, very good with the chocolate. So if you put seeds over, it's like that, the, uh, the brownie doesn't dry off, doesn't dry off on top and has a thick, thick um, crust and keeps all the moist inside. So we're going to bake this for uh, 25 minutes to 30 minutes maximum, 150 degrees Celsius. There. So you, you're going to take it out of the, uh, the oven, leave it cool slightly, and then you can just tip it over. And then we're going to, so it's best served lukewarm. So here we, uh, we serve it with, um, you see all nice, very, very nice and moist inside there. Here we serve it with um, beetroot ice cream as well. 